The people in this community are farmers and have been living together peacefully as one until the 14th of March 2018 that they were attacked in the early hours by suspected herdsmen. This attack has left at least 12 people dead while the injured ones are presently on treatment. Their homes, farmlands and properties have also been destroyed. Governor Yahya Bello and some of his cabinet members are on an on-the-spot assessment visit to some of the troubled communities in Dekina and Basa local governments respectively. Those communities have no access roads, so it's a difficult task to get there. At the time, the governor and his entourage had to walk several kilometers to one of the communities. The shattered buildings, burnt motorcycles, bullet shells and the graves are enough evidence to tell the story of what could have happened in this community. Governor Yahya Bello addressed the people and the security agencies, promising that his administration will not relent in its effort to secure the lives and property of the citizens in the state. Judicial panel of inquiry is underway. to ascertain the remote and immediate causes of this incident. So also, a particular team will be deployed immediately to ascertain the extent of damages with a view of at least giving some palliative measures so that our people does not suffer untold hardships. A member of the community who spoke to Channel Television confirms the number of lives lost in the said attack. Twelve lives were ascertained, but as at now we cannot tell those, we could not recover others, but we recovered twelve precisely. The Chief of Staff to the Governor, Mr. Edward Onoja, gives assurance of a new access route before the end of the year. They need certain infrastructure that had deluded them for 27 years, and its excellency had committed to ensuring that those infrastructure begins immediately. This attack is not the first, but what the people are asking for is for the government to live up to its promises of protecting lives and property.